you mentioned uh, mentioned Quan Brown before, the Trinidadian uh, international uh, uh, coach, part of the coaching setup in uh, in the UK back here. Uh, what was he like? What was he like to play with? What was he like to um, train? Uh, Quan, Quan was our eighth, just phenomenal. Um, first time I would have met Quan, as I started hockey at such a late age, I started around 17, 18, and I wasn't really involved in the Banks Hockey Festival in Barbados. And he would have been coming to Barbados regularly prior to that. I would have met Quan in, let's say, 2002. It was the beginning of a new season, outdoor season. And I remember this short guy, because he's very small in nature. Um, I asked him to come and warm me up before the game. So he gave me the, I gave him a ball and he started to like just normal tapping the ball at my feet, just getting my feet involved. So then I told him to back it up and just hit the ball from the top of the circle. And he started blade hitting this ball. And when he was blade hitting the ball, I honestly was seeing the ball, but after the ball came back out the net. And most guys at that stage who tried to blade hit would not have the accuracy, but he was getting the ball on point every time, same power, just off the ground, backboard height. And I was like, this guy, he, you cannot fluke that much. But how's he doing it? Bear in mind, I did not know who Quan Brown was. I just saw a little dark guy, and I said, you know what? Let him warm me up. At that particular stage, I was good at flick at flicks. So I told him, okay, just flick a couple at me now, because I know for sure he cannot flick past me. So he started to flick on left side, right side. I, it, was, it was horrible for me. So I was like, you know, I can't start my game like this. So I told him I'm going to get, take a water break. And that was the end of that. I just played the game from there. That was the worst warm-up I've ever, ever had before any game. Um, as the game started, then I realized this guy, you know, turning up, change of speed, you know, two and three guys coming at him, and he's just coming out. And then he had a shot and a drag flick. His drag flick is, is different. He has a very different technique. And he watches the keeper all the way in. He picks at the ball from low, and he has very a lot of power in his in his forearms. And um, but Quan is is different. Quan is different. A very good gentleman. You know, he sits down, and talk to you. He was actually the one that when I went to the indoor tournament, Obo, who are my sponsors, or uh, who was my sponsor at that time. I still do get gear from them, but not full sponsorship. Um, they came to watch one of the games at. That would have been in DC. And after the game, a guy, I don't know who it was, but he was a representative from Obo. He would have came up to me and asked me if I would wear their gear. And Andre Ferguson was next to me. And I, I wasn't sure if it was a joke because um, I was pretty young then. And Andre was telling me it was, this is real. So Quan apparently was the person that told them about me, and they could have, they should, have, they could actually, you know, look at my style, blah blah blah. You know, that I'm a pretty good goalkeeper. So because of Quan, I was able to attain a full sponsorship for a couple of years, and now I get half half sponsorship. But he's that guy that you know he understands that hockey is a team sport also. So I think I took that leaf out of his book, um, whereby, you know, you need your other teammates to, to succeed and you can't just do it by yourself. Even as good as you, you may think you are, people may think you are, you, you need your, own, your other teammates.